Hi, I'm Jadine Hudson and welcome to the NRMA's driver's seat. From the front, this looks like a typical Volkswagen Golf hatch. But from the side, the uniqueness of this car is instantly recognisable. The all new Golf Wagon. So why would you choose the wagon over the regular hatch? Well, it's simple. In a word, space. The wagon has almost double the luggage space of the hatch. Fold the seats down and this grows to 1,495 litres. A clever feature is the red indicator, which is visible from the front seats, that warns if one of the two rear backrests is not fully engaged when lifting the seat back up again. Inside, the wagon is basically the same as the hatch. Switch gear is the same, all the dials are the same, and that's not a bad thing. Volkswagen is really forging a name for itself for good presented cabins and great interior feel and quality materials. Like the hatch, the wagon has the ability for the steering column to be moved forward and back and up and down, so you can find that perfect driving position. The key difference between the wagon and the hatch in the rear is actually the seats. They're a little bit more elevated than in the hatch, so you sit higher up, which is particularly handy for the children. There are clips here for the cargo petition net. This stops the stuff you've got in the boot from flying into the passenger area during a collision or hard braking. One thing we particularly like in the Golf uh, is the fact that you can actually get a digital speedo readout right in your line of sight. So you don't actually have to take your eyes off the road as much as you normally would by looking at a conventional speedo. We are driving the 118 kilowatt version. So it's a 1.4 litre twin charge. So it's not twin turbocharged, it's supercharged and turbocharged. But we found it struggled a bit in the wagon body style when overtaking or going up hills. That said, it's still pretty sprightly around town with plenty of get up and go. The suspension is firm, but it's not uncomfortable, and the steering is direct, exactly what you expect from the fantastic little Golf chassis. The Golf Wagon has a seven speed DSG, which is a direct shift gearbox, uh, which makes light work of gear changes, but it does have a slight hesitation on takeoff. This version of the Golf Wagon costs $33,990, plus on-road costs, which isn't bad for a car that can basically do all the same things as the regular hatch, but has the flexibility and space for the family or those who like to get out and about. Like the hatch, the wagon comes with a five-star European NCAP safety rating, which is great if you've got precious cargo on board. There is plenty of room for a capsule, a fully-fledged convertible seat, or even a booster seat. Talking about precious cargo, so even if the skiing holiday is not your thing, the wagon has plenty of space and practicality for the everyday family and those who like to get outdoors. If you'd like more information, head to www.mynrma.com.au forward slash motoring.